Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel and if you're new, welcome in. I'm LeBron Jane and today we are starting our journey of the Resident Evil HD Remaster, which is the remaster of the GameCube remake. This game is the holy grail of remakes. This is a remake done so right. I love this game. I am incredibly excited to get this game on my channel and play it for you all, so I'm no stranger to the game. We're going to play it on hard in addition to that. I have another evil. surprise for y'all as well. If you complete the game twice on any difficulty, boom, you get Jill's amazing RE3 costume. And that is exactly the costume we're going to be using today. So don't forget, turn it up! Situated in Northwest Raccoon City, where we are searching for the helicopter of our compatriots, Bravo Team. Who disappeared during the middle of their mission. Let's go! Ooh. Bizarre murder cases have recently occurred in Raccoon City. There are outlandish reports of families being attacked by a group of about ten people. Victims were apparently eaten. The Bravo team was sent in to investigate, but we lost contact. Look, Chris! Bravo Team's helicopter was a derelict. Save for the remaining body of Kevin. <laughs> I love that sound effect. Duh. We continued our search <laughs> for the other members. And it turned into we look at our a team. Nightmare. Bravo team B for babes, not B for Bravo. Whew. It ain't safe, it ain't safe. Poor Joseph. R.I.P. Lighters up for a boy. You tried, Jill. It's time to get out of there. Nice save, Chris. Let's go. Hey, Brad! Where the hell's he going? I love this part. Chris, this way. Woo! Woo! Let's go, look at our Westie and our Barry. The team right here. Damn it. Make for that mansion. I don't think y'all understand. Alright, that intro, I love what they did with it, but if y'all watched my original playthrough, my crackhead energy was like out the roof. This is definitely a more subdued entry into the game. Which is great still. What is this place? <laughs> Not quite your ordinary house. What that's is That's for this sure. Place? Hey, Whisker, where's Chris? Jill, no. You don't want to go back out there. But we've got to find. What was that? Chris? No. Jill, go and investigate. I'm going with her. Chris and I go back a long way. All right. You two go. I'll secure this area. I bet Stay you sharp. will, Wesky. I bet you will. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, 
All right, look at this. I'm ready. I'm so ready. A dining room. A dining room. <laughs> I love that they keep the dialogue very similar and keep some of the original lines, but it can all conveys the same meaning if they change things slightly, you know? So it doesn't feel quite repetitive, but it's refreshed, which I could say would apply to almost every element of this game. Like the map, puzzle reworks, extra enemies added. I mean, ugh. All right, so as you can see, I have the rocket launcher, which I think you get this from beating it uh, in three hours. We are not gonna be using it. I'm gonna play this game as normally as one would expect on hard mode, so resource management. I'm gonna read notes because I haven't read the notes and really ab absorbed this game in a while, so that's the kind of playthrough you're gonna be getting. Um, you might be seeing that I'll be doing some speedrun strats, like stair skating. And I do use an a mix of alternate controls and original I think controls. you'd better take a look at this. What is it? Blood. Blood. Hope it's not Chris's blood. Jill, see if you can find any other clues. I'll be examining this. <laughs> Let's just hope it's not Chris's. See, I love that. Ugh. And the atmosphere is just done so good in this game. All right, I'm gonna stop talking, I swear. I just, I just, uh, I love the way they've done it. It's different from the original, as in this is much more detailed. It's so rich, the sound design and everything else, but there's something about the original game that has this weird, sterile, creepy kind of, lonely vast vibe to it in all of the rooms because they were so empty like it's just it's a little eerie in its own way you know versus this feels more cozy <laughs> if that makes sense all right we're gonna do this alternate that uh, approach to the intro i'm counting on you to investigate jill sure thing wesker roger that did y'all see his butt all right so if we come back down this way or no, wait, wait, sorry. We we do this, we do this. My bad, sorry. Got cold feet already? That's not like you. Barry would try to circumvent you from going back out again. But you can come back this way. And we'll see a familiar friend. Who is it? You! Freeze! Get away from him, Jill! He's in the insane. same attire and everything. That creepy green color top and the brown pants. Which used to freak me out as a kid when I would watch my mom play what the original. The hell? We better report this to Wesker. Sorry, I'm enjoying my tea. Okay. Let's do it. Such a creepy little add-on there. Wesker! <laughs> Jill, help me look for him. But let's not leave this hall. Good idea. Man, somebody open an Airbnb of this place. Like, someone please build it. <laughs> let's go up the stairs. All we have to do is go back up and come back down. Barry. Any luck, Jill? No, nothing. What's going on around here? I can't figure it out. Same here. Chris, and now Wesker. There's not much we can do. We can search for him separately. I'll investigate the dining room again. Okay, then. I'll try the door on the other side. <sighs> this mansion is gigantic. We could easily get lost. Let's start from the first floor. Okay. Oh, I almost forgot. It's a lockpick. You'd make better use of it. That's right. Because you know what it is. Thanks. Master I may need of it. unlocking. Listen. If something happens, let's meet up in this hall. Got it? Okay. All right. He said to go this way. Or they agreed that was what the plan was. But I'm going to go this way because it's the fastest way to get to the arrowhead that we need to start getting our first key sword key 
Let's investigate the body here of our comrade. Kenneth. Looks like he's holding something. It's the film that belonged to Kenneth. I need a video player to see what's recorded on it. Yeah, I love how they added so much to the map. Like this whole section we're about to go through. An eerie picture of the mansion decorates the wall. It's like they kept so much of the original, but expanded upon it in a way that doesn't encroach on the original way we're supposed to enjoy it, you know? Ah, it's just... It's just done so good, you know? And, and especially now that I've come from the, uh, the, rem um, the original. From 96, I think it was. Now that I've played it, I can totally appreciate it way more. Alright, this zombie's a little tough. He sometimes lunges, sometimes doesn't. And then he can also double lunge, which is like the worst. <sighs> Great start. Great start. Hopefully I uh, clean it up here. Because we don't want to get hit often. We really, really don't. Let's see how the rest of it goes. Yeah, we'll go through here. He's in a great place. I was expecting him to be right in my chili in the walkway. But he wasn't. Peridot, sometimes referred to as a poor man's emerald. Pop that sucker right in, the arrowhead, and we got access to the crypt. And I love that they throw all of their changes at you pretty early on in the game. Like, this is all new and added. It's been a while since I played the original one. Sweet! Book of Curses. The four masks. A mask that speaks no evil. A mask that smells no evil. A mask that sees no evil. A mask that cannot speak, smell, or see evil. When all four fall into place, evil will awaken. Super cool. And yep, this is where we're gonna put them, as y'all already know. Such a cool place. Alright, hopefully these guys are not in a terrible place. Oh my god, they are! Come on, y'all. There's no way. Maybe? Maybe? Woo! We got it. I report. We got him. Okay, so we're gonna go down this way first. I'm not gonna get the map. Don't need it. I don't necessarily need this defense item either, but I'm, I'm gonna try to keep- I'm gonna try to keep it. This zombie doesn't really like to lunge, so you can't really rely on dodging. So I'm gonna try to take him down. Maybe- maybe just stun so I can get around him. Let's see. Ah. Let's try. Come on! Woo! No! <laughs> he got my back! Dang it! That one is so hard to get away from. Let's <sighs> be sad. It wasn't even worth it. Some days I can get past him. Some days I can't. Also, I want to talk about this. This room. So, in the original game, you get surprised by doggos. If you're aware of that. Jesus. And you come through here, you're expecting it, right? And then you get that. It's just so cool. It's almost like creepier, right? Uh, by the way, you might have noticed I went past those uh, items. There's, I think, one item under those dressers on hard mode. And it's handgun ammunition, which I don't need. We're gonna go ahead and grab one heal though. Red herbs are super rare. So we're gonna take those. Do a little mixeroni. Not examine. Nice looking herb though. Let's get out of here before the dogs get us. 
Ooh. <laughs> Creepy haunted mansion sound pack. God, I love those sounds. The wolves. The crickets. Oh, so good. Jill. Looking great in your cities. Look, zombie agrees. He's just trying to get a feel. <laughs> That's right, girl. You get him. <laughs> I think maybe I guess it just kind of shows how new she is you know I don't think she's a rookie but you know I mean also this guy probably stank <laughs> so I maybe would throw up too Jill is our girl Ooh, wee and this room, made into a literal work of art. Love it. We're going to grab this for sure. We're on easy mode. <laughs> Technically, since we're playing Jill, we get the shotgun so early and easily. So I don't really know if Jill hard mode is actually hard mode. <laughs> All right, so get out of this. You don't wait like you would in the original game. Oh you God. have to what jiggle both now? of those doorknobs. Wesker! Barry! Help! Jill! You in there? Barry? Get me out of here! The door's jammed! Stand back! Come on, Barry. <clears throat> Grab my hand! <clears throat> Ooh, right in the nick of time. Barry. <laughs> that was a close one. A second late, you would have fit nicely into a sandwich. Really? Thanks. But Barry, didn't you say you were going back to the dining room to find other clues? I'm glad and all, but why are you here? I just had something I wanted to check. Hmm. Anyway, I see, we I should see. get back to searching for Wesker and Chris. Thanks, Barry. I owe you one. Don't mention it. Aw, oh, Barry. Okay, we're gonna go through here. Can't access the other doors in this hall, so I'm just going straight here. We're gonna try to circumvent this guy! Mm, this is going bad, y'all. This is going bad. I can usually get right past that one. We're putting all this away. And that should be it. I'm not going to pick up the fuel canteen or the note about it. Uh, it's fine. We don't need it. Ooh, the sounds in that room, though. Are you going to lunge? Or are you going to make my life difficult? He's not doing it, y'all. He's going to make my life difficult. Look at him. Can you just... reason I'm not killing them, as I'm sure a lot of you are already aware, we don't want crimson heads. We <laughs> we want to keep them slow and sluggish and alive. We don't want them to get knocked out. A crumpled memo. Today, Sir Spencer told me to hide something where no one could find it. Well, I had this idea. Figured if I could somehow have protected it by a dangerous animal like the vicious canine that lives here, no one would be able to get near it. As far as I can tell, the mutt is always hanging around the second floor balcony on the west side of the terrace, and he ought to come running at the sound of a dog whistle. This is where you come in. The thing is, I reckon you're the only person that can get near that damn dog without risking a serious mauling, which means you can put this collar on him. The object that Sir Spencer wants hidden is concealed inside. You're the only person I can trust with this. 
of course, you'll get something out of it as well. Remember that certain item you've always wanted to get a hold of? Well, in exchange for your services, I just might be able to get it for you. This could work out well for both of us. John Tolman. Uh, did it say who it was to? It didn't. I guess it's, uh... I guess it's just from one of the, the lab or research peoples to another, is what I'm guessing. And this must be one of their offices, I suppose. The game appears to have ended in checkmate. Yeah, so there's uh, ammo there. I don't need it. Old-fashioned gramophone. The record is Jupiter. I'm gonna get this lighter. We don't need to read this book. It's about herbs. Pretty sure. Looks on books on various peoples of the earth. All right, we gotta jo dodge the zombie again, and uh, we're gonna go. Um, we're we're gonna go get the dog with or the the collar. I wasn't sure where he was. <laughs> Sometimes that zombie can be on the left or the right side of the hall, and if you can't, if you don't have visibility, you don't know. Barry. Fancy seeing you here. Jill, got any good news? Other than I'm still alive in this madhouse? No. I'm still Can't say alive. it's much safer here either. We'd better secure our escape route first. There's gotta be a back door somewhere. All right then, let's split up again. Hey, hold on a sec. Look what I've found. What? A can of fizz. It's <laughs> sure to yellow and mellow those things. It's yours. Hopefully you won't have to use it. Can of fizz. <laughs> what about you? Oh, don't worry. I like the buddy system we have here. I see. Thanks. I'll take it. See I have this. Yeah. All right. So we just go straight across here. How are y'all doing, by the way? I'm trying to do these videos in a little bit different format. Maybe like a little tiny bit shorter, not like an, a whole hour long. Uh, we'll see though, because I kind of run this game a little, um, maybe a little, a little quickly. But anyway, hope y'all are doing great. Thank y'all again for joining me on this awesome journey. I think one more should do it. We might get hit. We might get hit. Yep. I didn't kill the other dog fast enough. Let's get out of here. Okay. Discard that. We'll come back and get a heal in a sec. For now... Actually, let's go ahead and go. Should reset the room anyway, so it should be here. Run! I hear it! I hear it! Okay. Go, 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 go. I think there's three uses there, so we use one. You're gonna lunge or you're gonna give me a hard time, Jesus. And this guy is gonna puke. <laughs> I just love- <laughs> it makes me laugh every time that happens. Alright, we don't need this right now. Uh, This is good. Dun 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 dun! Okay, let's let's not get let's not get puked on. That would be nice. Uh, let's unlock this door. We're gonna need it later. Uh, actually, we need to go here. Okay, <laughs> I'm still working on my still working on my stair skating. May whoever takes this emblem find peace and death. Perfect. Alright. All we gotta do is secure our exit. In this awesome collar addition to the game. That whole terrace, too. That's all added. It's so cool. Boom. Put in the false placeholder. Trap disabled. 
Jill is no longer a sandwich. All right. Oh, I forgot about him. You can't forget about the crimson heads. Oh, he coming. And there's another zombie, so we gotta. Woo! Woo! And that is why they call it Murder Hall, everybody. <laughs> oh, I barely made it out of there. Crimson heads are terrible. Terrible. They hit so much harder. Actually, let's go this way. Yeah. Let's go check on our comrade. Excuse me, pillar. The way they expanded this section is so cool. Grab this dagger. Oh. Stores. Saw it on his vest. Ah, <sighs> sad. Yes, we will need that. Forrest has given up the ghost. It looks like he's been dead for a while. Alright, so on hard mode, there is nothing down here at the end of this. But on normal mode, there would be two herbs. Which would entice the player to go get them. And then our friend would reanimate and give us a hard time. But since we don't need to go down there for any reason, we are going to circumvent that part of the game entirely. <laughs> No thanks. I uh, I need to I need to stay away from danger <laughs> as much as I can. I'm no expert at this game. I know my way around at least, but still getting better at dodging and stuff. Richard, what happened? You're wounded. We gotta save our boy now. This whole place is a killing zone. Uh, there are monsters. What did this to you? A big snake. And it had to be poisonous. Poisonous? Richard, hold on. I got Let you, baby. I saw some, but didn't bring any. I'll go and get it, okay? You're gonna make it. Thanks. I got you, baby boy. No problem. We're gonna make a couple of pit stops, though, y'all. Don't kill me. We will make it. Ooh! He could have gotten me there. Two pit stops, okay? That, that's all we're gonna do. This is the first, and then we'll do another. So this room, of course, was obviously expanded. Um... Or it changed a little bit differently from the OG. I think before you just needed to cover the vent. But here it just added a whole new level of complexity by adding a puzzle. Which is really cool. And I don't think it has anything to do with the portraits above. It's just trial and error. You just know which one to push in first. Lucky for y'all, I know. Okay. This hall is going to be cancerous later when a, when a zombie comes through the door, the hallway, you know, where we got the dog whistle from. Okay, so we go through here. We're not that far. We're already... See? Look at this. This is going to be a terrible hallway too. But we'll deal with it. There's a zombie at the bottom of the stairs. Look at him! He is right in my way. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna put away the sword key. We don't need it. It unlocks the dining room, or sorry, the kitchen door. We we're gonna go there later, and it's gonna open it, so we don't need it. I don't think I need this right now. Uh, but I'll but I'll keep it. Uh, I'll keep it. We will need it later. Not right now. We got the chemical to use on plants. We're gonna make that pit stop. Okay, we gotta grab the serum. Ooh, I almost forgot. And I think we're good. Hopefully. Excuse me. Ooh, I was dumb. I thought I was edged out enough. Uh, let's grab a defense weapon. 
Hopefully we have time. We gotta hurry. Grab. All right, all that's in this room, y'all, is the old shotgun and the ribbon. We don't need it. We gotta hurry. We gotta hurry. There's usually a defense item on that countertop, but um, not on hard mode. Use. Pump the water. Be red. Take that. Take that. Now, give me my prize. I don't think I'm gonna grab the herbs. We're gonna need our our, uh, our space. We will remember they're there if I need them later in the playthrough. But hopefully I'll be okay. <laughs> we just can't get grabbed. That's that's the strat. I will go into the door I just passed later when we actually have time. Right now. We gotta get to Richard. I've made too many pit stops. So let's go there now. Alright. We are. Let's see if we made it. Here, Richard. Whew. I'm gonna give you a shot. We made it. Hang in there. Jill. Here's my radio. And we got the radio. Perfect. I'm... <sighs> Does it ever not hurt? <laughs> Is he talking about the shot there? At least that's what I think he's referring to. Come on, sir. Don't don't play with me. God, these zombies, this run is just oh, they're killing me. Killing me, literally. Oh, I love this room. They added so much to it by allowing us to have to get a second piece of music. Don't you freaking mess with me right now. Come on, dude. Jesus. These zombies are trifling right now. Trifling. I thought I was going to get past him because he was turned around. This is embarrassing. Well, that frees up a spot, I guess, so... Cool! Hi, babes. Hope you're feeling better. Okay, we just need to go, um... We need to go downstairs. Yes, downstairs. And grab the emblem in the dining hall. Love that they kept the clock sounds all loud and creepy. Ah, cozy fireplace. Love it. All right, I think we have everything we need. Come on, dude. Dude! All right, I think I got too close. That was my bad. I'm not doing so good. Um, but you know what? I'm, I'm gonna make it. Grab this. Moonlight Sonata. Alright, Jill. Do your thing. What can't she do? She plays. She shoots. She scores. And she's smoking. Dun, dun, dun. Beautiful. Beautiful. So good. Oh. Right, we grab this. And now we need to secure our escape again. Perfect. Let's go ahead and read that note inside of us. So I love reading about the Trevor family. 
the whole addition to that is to this story is so cool. I mean, sad, but cool that they did it. Eleven days have passed since arriving on this estate. How did I end up like this? A guy in a lab coat brought me a meager plate of food and said, Sorry to put you through this, but it's for security reasons. That's when it hit me. It all makes sense now. There are only two people that know the secret of this mansion, Sir Spencer and myself. If they kill me, Sir Spencer will be the only person that knows the secret. But for what purpose? It doesn't matter now. It's too dangerous here. My family, I hope they are all right. I've decided to escape. Jessica, Lisa, I pray you are safe. November 26, 1967. Two days after the first one we read. How could I be so careless? I lost my favorite lighter, the one Jessica gave me for my birthday. Now it's going to be much harder to escape this dark place. November 13th, the date when my fate was sealed. My aunt was hospitalized just three days before that. Jessica and Lisa said that they were going to visit her. I wish I could be there with them. But wait, even as I'm writing, my memory is coming back to me more vividly. Just before I passed out, I remember the men in the lab coat said something like, Most likely your family is already. I pray for their safety. November 27th. Somehow I managed to get out of that room. But getting out of this mansion won't be easy. I have to get past all the booby traps, tiger eyes, gold emblem. I have to try and remember for my own sake. So yeah, he was the architect. Which they didn't uh, go into, you know... The, the details of the building of this place. I mean, we knew it was Umbrella and all that, but I don't think they... they if I'm right in, in saying that, I can't say that with authority, but I think that was uh, all added to this story. Okay. That gets us access to the clock. And we need to run. It says, when the two have run each other through, the path to your destiny will open. Looks like you can turn the gears inside of the clock. Try it. I think that there's a way to do this by looking at a portrait or something in the original. I'm not too sure, but you just need to get this in a position at six o'clock. So they essentially visually run themselves through. Actually, now I'm curious. I'm gonna look it up. Oh yeah, yeah, there it is. Yeah, it's the portrait here. It's the portrait here. Picture of two kings striking each other. The short sword has been thrust into the breast, while the long sword has pierced the head of the other. So that's how you figure, because the uh, the emblems on the six, nine, midnight, and three positions have. The images of the keys. The sword. Oh, I can't see it anymore. But the sword, the helmet, yada 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 yada. Okay, so now that we have that, <clears throat> we have everything, almost everything we need. Actually, we do have everything we need. Yeah, we're, we're Gucci. We can go ahead and engage Jan. Okay, here we go gonna get to see this beautiful creature oh my god so freaking pretty if he didn't just want to eat me payback time <laughs> let's go dude I can never get past that freaking dodge I swear and I missed. Great. And I missed again. I'm hitting this pillar so much! And I missed. Great. And I missed again. I'm hitting this pillar so much! Jesus Christ, that was so bad, and what a waste. You can normally get away with 
one ass round on that snake. So that was just, that was so terrible and I apologize. Practice makes perfect, I suppose. Richard! Freaking Richard, man, this made me so sad. Now we're all alone with him. And we're poisoned. So those other shots I had fired didn't go exactly in vain. Well, the one that I fired. And hit him with. But the others I missed, and that was just so stupid. It is what it is. Alright, Jill's gonna tell us we're poisoned. Oh, am I poisoned? Yep, I am I trashed. Serum. Let's go get it. And quickly, because we might not make it at this state. So we gotta hurry. Let me unequip the weapon. Forgot to tell y'all. You can run faster without a weapon. We could grab those herbs, but um I'm not going to. I saw my life flash before my eyes because that zombie changes positions after the fight with Yawn and I forgot and he surprised me so bad that was that was pretty ugly goodness gracious dude where is he where is he Oh, thank God. Woo! Let's get the serum. Lordy, 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 lordy. Okay, we're gonna change out these. Put the shotgun back, put the lighter back. And I think that's all we need to... Um... What side of the map am I on? I need to go across, yeah. Sorry? Where is he? So, we just need to put in the masks and we get the uh, Spencer emblem, I believe. See, this sucker right here. A double grab? Are you kidding me? This is so bad. I'm so actually mad right now. Oh, this hallway is going to be terrible. Ready? Yep. Oh my god, it's like I knew it! Either that or I manifested it. It's getting crazy, y'all. Maybe we should go in here and grab a... We should probably grab something there. See, there's a red herb here. Yep. And actually, while we're at it, I'm glad we made this stop because, uh... Yeah, we can do this. We need to get this hook. I'm definitely getting the magnum, that's why I'm here. We don't necessarily need it with Jill, but I'm gonna get it anyway. Researchers will. A letter is slipped inside. The top part of the letter is torn off. The rest of the letter is legible. Alma, I have tried to survive only to see you again, but my efforts only delayed the inevitable. I am infected, and there is no cure for what will follow, except to end my life before I lose the only thing that separates me from them. My love for you. In an hour, I'll have entered my eternal sleep where there is peace. Please understand. Please know that I am sorry. Martin Crackhorn. Is, um... Is this the... I'm just guessing. Is that the fella that's in the coffin that we're about to see? Okay, so we need to get this first. No, don't push the switch yet. There we go. Grab this. So essentially the idea here is you want to put the lures with the lures, so you make the lure. And then you want to put the specimens with the specimens. So it completes that. I think before this room used to be just a bookcase. Alright, grab it, grab it, grab it! Hi! 
me! Run, Joe, run, Joe. Alright, we got it, we got it, we got it. Out of here, dude. Yeah, so, uh, I think before it was just a book bookcase that we had to move. And I don't remember what the puzzle was now, actually. Uh, no. We'll need that later. But I think I know where I'm going to save it in the episode. Not here. Boom, boom. Sorry, wrong button. Phew! Uh, there would be a, a higher quality healing item here. I think a first aid box. These footprints look like they're headed straight through the bed. That is so creepy to me. Such an odd message. Uh, but we, uh... But we don't get access to that item I was talking about because we're on hard mode. Goodness gracious, I'm trying to get better at this. Barry left us a note! Did y'all see it? Look, perfect. We can keep this with us just in case, and I don't think I need anything. I think we're good. <sighs> Gotta get past this one again. Look at this! Y'all hear that? Upstairs? Okay, so we will need to get past that zombie here in a second. I love this room. The title is written as follows. Bring the light of truth to the three spirits. So essentially in the in the original game, I think you had to press the buttons in order of age of the subject, the person in the portraits, or persons in the portraits. But in this one, all you need to do is try to set either color on either side of the portrait to the right matching objects color to the stained glass at the end of the room. So I know the puzzle, so this one is, needs to be orange. And it's uh, how you know what the item is, is it says, picture of a valiant wearing a bracelet. So you know the bracelet is the subject. And then here you can see a picture of a sage wearing a necklace. So that's how you know. And I think this is all trial and error, honestly. Picture of a saint wearing a crown. So we need the crown to be green. We need the necklace to be purple. I love that color. All right, and we're done. Lisa, protected by the three spirits. A picture of a woman wearing a bracelet, a necklace, and a crown. A switch. And instead of just a frame dropping down and giving us one of the emblems we need to get outside, it gives us a mask. And now with Jill being our master of unlocking, we're able to get out of this really easily. And no zombies out here, which is a welcome sight. And so now we go down here, put in the face mask, boom! On to the next challenge. This one goes here. Yes. This one is in the box, I believe. And so this one's cool. It says, on the plate, sunshine will awaken me. So that's how you know to push the two halves, halves of the sun. Oh, I already switched it. Now this one. Boom. And... Next is the nose mask. Perfect. Last but not least. I think that one's the speed no evil one. We're gonna blast this guy. No problem. God, they're so freaky. Got him. And the crest we need to get outside. 
There's an item there you might have seen that I just walked by. I am purposefully not getting it. It's just handgun ammunition. Thank god there's some zombies out here. And the shotgun shells, I'm not getting those either. May um there's gonna be some more when we get outside, I think. And I'm definitely gonna grab those. Cause yeah, I don't wanna be grabbing not enough items throughout this playthrough. I don't wanna screw us later. Okay, another zombie time. Run, 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 run. Phew. I heard the doggo. <laughs> okay, so we're going to grab this. We will find an item box soon. I'm not worried about picking that up. And this. Please, God, we need defensive items. First aid spray. Perfect. Phew. How are y'all doing? Okay, so this puzzle I know, and I'll explain it here in a second. This one needs to be west. And I'll explain it why once I get down to the bottom. But here's the original saying, which I'm sure a lot of you already know all this stuff, but just going through it for an atmospheric playthrough. North, Valley of Destruction. South, Cave of Hatred. East, Summit of Madness, West, Path of Revenge. So once you figure out the directions, you can correspond it with the colors of the dog eyes statue. Mary? Well, <laughs> I'm already out here. <laughs> When that first happened, I was like, oh my god, what is going to be here? Okay, so before I do this, let me show you down here what I'm talking about. It's going to be locked, and it says, The gate will open when the guard dog's desires are fulfilled. If you look at the color of their eyes, this one has blue. And it says destruction. This one says red. It says revenge. So you're just correlating all that information based on the color and the direction. So, this one needs to be north. And the timing is hard to get. I don't know how speedrunners do this, by the way. It's freaking insane. Imagine practicing, right? And you get to this part. Everything else went great. You get to this part, and you were off. Like, ah, oh, it's instant reset. That's just... Oh, I shouldn't have ran. I shouldn't have ran. Why have I done this? So instead of them getting rid of the crest completely, they said, let's expand it and give the player a way to get a new sick weapon instead of the crest opening the outdoor space of the mansion. Button on the back, examine and press. Easy. Rinse and repeat. In no particular order. And there it is. It's so freaking sick. Alright, let's get out of here. I should have ran in the first place. I should have been walking. But I kind of sort of forgot about the crows here. Tell me y'all didn't crop your pants the first time y'all heard that. Not knowing what the heck it was. As if this Ch Lisa and the Trevor family is all new, so. Not knowing what it was. Tell me you didn't crop your pants. Coming through this crazy maze. Oh, here we go. Of a forest. To this creepy cabin. <laughs> oh, I sure did. This is one of my favorite spots because of the fire. This firewood looks fresh. Okay, there's a map here. 
I, uh... Ah, what the heck. I don't think I'll need it, but, you know. Crude bed. Looks like no one's used it in a long time. A family picture. A family picture and some notes, my dearest Lisa. There's a journal left by someone. 19. Daddy attached first, mom attached second. Inside red and slimy, white and hard. Not true, mom wear. Don't know dad. Found mom again. One attached mommy. She moved no more. She's screaming. Why? Just want to be with her. Four. Mom, where? I miss you. So freaking sad. She was like very young when Umbrella put her under their wing. Okay, I don't think we need anything right now. Um, I'll take the, uh, I'll swap this out for the shotgun. Where is it? There it is, there it is. Jesus. I was like, am I having a stroke? <laughs> I couldn't see it. Okay, so all we do here, grab the crank. Oh, Jill doesn't say nothing about this. Kind of cool. I was thinking that maybe she would, but uh, we come through here later. Okay. Oh God, I kind of forgot about that. Surprise! Here's your monster in chains. Okay, so this this engagement with her right here, you can get you want to get past her. You don't want to fight her. You can only stun her. <laughs> She's like Nemesis, so you gotta time it right. You can't just take off running. You gotta like. I don't know how I did that. But yeah, if you just hold a second before you take off, you can circumvent her her attack. Zombie's gonna be here. Watch it. I go around the tree. I don't care. <laughs> I'm not testing the bait. I think you can just go right by him, but nah. Nah. I'm not trying to deal with that. Okay. All I'm doing is heading back to use the crank. This is such an interesting place to practice your stair skating. At least in my opinion it is, because it's so unpredictable until you really know the layout, I feel like. This is Brad! Brad! Can you hear me? Just give me a sign. Anything. Jill to Brad! Can you hear me? Shit. It's broken. Broken. Run, run, run. Ooh. The dogs are much harder to tangle with. Oops, sorry. I'm still getting better at the alternate controls. It's not intended to be used with this kind of game. Tank controls are superior for this kind of game. When the camera is changing a thousand times. But um, the alternate controls are just so good for getting out of a really tight situation. And it's just quicker to round corners and everything. So I do try to use uh, a bit of both. Alright. This walkway here is totally nice the first time. When we come back it is... Not going to be so fun. Going down to the residence. And there's the waterfall. So cool. Whew. Watch it. All right, here we are at the residence, AKA used to be guardhouse. Ooh, ooh, I love this angle of Jill. I don't think you get it every time either. I think only this one time when you come in. I'm not, if I'm not mistaken. 
So there's uh, only a blue orb here. I don't think I need it right now. So I'm going to end the playthrough here. But when we get back, we're going to tangle with the spideys, the sharks, and more. Um, maybe this playthrough will only be a couple of uh, a couple of episodes, actually, because making some pretty decent time. All right, boom, saved. Woo, we made it, y'all. Thank y'all so much for watching this episode. I hope y'all liked it. It's different than my normal, I guess, blind playthrough. Kind of different, I guess, for me to commentate with it. Anyway, thank y'all so much for joining me on this episode. Let me know how y'all liked it. I hope you'll join me for episode two, and I will see y'all there. Ciao!